Y'all, it is six in the morning, and today I'm driving five hours to fill my entire van up with vintage. Oh, you've got mail. I, 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 I got, I got the like internet that. going nuts. So check it out. This is how empty my van is currently. Oh my God! And as I said, by the end of this video, I want this entire vehicle filled with tons of vintage clothes. So it's time to go on this road trip. I have a few thousand dollars in my pocket. Let's get to South Texas and cash out on some vintage. We're hitting some warehouses, y'all. So believe it or not guys, it has been five hours and like 30 minutes. I have arrived in the RGV, the Valley of Texas, and my Lord, it is hot as hell. My van was literally starting to overheat as soon as I got up in here, and luckily I made it to the finish line. The only concerning part is I'm gonna have to make it all the way home. But now it's time to reunite with my long lost cousin and get to buying some vintage clothes. All right guys, so look. I just walked into my long lost cousin's house. I don't know where he just went. This is my cousin Preston. What's up? Live in the building. But look at this man's house. Wait, no way. So we're about to pull up to cop a bunch of vintage. I'm definitely probably gonna have to remove some clothes out of this premises, but this is amazing. An entire room dedicated to nothing but flame. Y'all see my uncle in the videos. Now y'all see my cousin in the videos. I'm telling y'all, the Cantu family does not play when it comes to this we vintage shit. Play. This is awesome, bro. This is awesome. So we just dashed out the house. Now we're dashing our way to the warehouse. We're gonna grab potentially a bunch of stuff. I'm gonna see what I can get my paws on. But uh, yeah, man, I'm gonna show y'all how the, how the Cantu family gets down up in the trenches. What got you in the vintage, bro? Uh, basically, my father had always been into antiquities too. Um, you know, and as far as antiques, I actually have one of his first shirts he ever wore to an OG Van Halen concert. And ever since I found it in my in the, the second room, it always intrigued me as far as how these clothes can and the threads can last so long. Um, basically, what got me into the business too is just going to flea markets, man. I mean, I, I sold at flea markets. My father did the same thing, clearing out houses. So we kind of fell along the same lines, and uh, I enjoy it very much. It's very fun. So that's basically how I started, and um, I, I've never, I'm glad I never looked back, to be honest. <laughs> that's sick, though. See, one of the most meaningful shirts that I found was one that my dad used to wear when I was a kid, but it's worth, like, probably 15, 15 bucks. Hey, it don't but it's matter, like a United Way shirt. That's what so I mean by grill. Grill don't mean anything with monetary value, bro. Grill is, like, something that means the most to you, to be honest. Whether it's a $50, $500, or, like, a $5 shirt, bro. I mean... Just the way it is, it's what has meaning to it, not, you know, following trends and stuff like that. Facts. Guys, take notes. I'm telling y'all, we're preaching that wisdom. All right, Jeez. let's get it. We, we've arrived. Let's go. Hey, bro, ain't no fucking way, bro. Bro, ain't no 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 way. All right, so whatever I want, put it in one pile. Whatever you don't want, go ahead and put it in a different pile. And we're doing it by the pound. Yeah. So the more so the more pounds I get, the more discounted it potentially could be. Yes, sir. Volume over price, my friend. Volume over price in time. All right, man. Let's turn the volume up, bro. So as I go through these clothes, I'm gonna break down the process of how this warehouse works. Essentially, they buy tons of clothes, any clothes with good dyes, and that aren't faded, don't have crazy graphics, or aren't jerseys. They literally resell to be cut up and used as rags and oil rigs. So this huge pile of vintage gear literally would have been thrown away because it could not be used to create rags out of. I know it's a crazy concept, but luckily these items were salvaged, looked through, and then I gotta go through them and purchase some things that I liked. Oh no, he's in sync, huh? Oh my god. Oh my god. Bro, I'm finna buy this. 
This shit hard. Mr. Eddie, chillin'. Damn, this shit is hard. A clean, convenient 5XL. So these are some of my favorite items that I pulled in the warehouse. You had a ton of workwear, NASCAR tees, literally a little bit of everything. Some items definitely had flaws that I needed to get out. Some items needed to be whitened, but overall I was truly blessed to be able to have access to such a huge array, variety, plethora of clothes. It was just nice to get my dirty little fingers on a ton of vintage. So shout out my long lost cousin and shout out the homie Andres as well for letting me come up in here, man. It definitely was beyond a real, real treat. So I just went through this fat ass stack of clothes. We're gonna see what the damage is. I'm very curious. Damn, son, where'd you find this? Hey, we got some heavy shit. So there's the pile, 144 pounds, easy bro. Thank you my man, appreciate you. Appreciate you cuzzo. Y'all already know what time it is. So riding the Tesla right now man, just got done buying this stuff. Now I'm getting flexed on with these luxury electronic vehicles. And my man is about to launch this thing. Holy sh straight into traffic bro. <laughs> Hey, but it's self-driving, so it's all good. It'll just take off and fly over these cars. <laughs> all right, man, we just pulled up to Trophies out here with the homie Mike. I want me a trophy. Got Justin in the mix. Trophy. The whole gang. Look, they're working on building out the store right now, right? Yes, sir. When's it yes, open, sir. bro? Probably like a week and a half, two weeks. <laughs> So you got me this beautifully, gently used, uh, lightly loved on Houston Oilers hat. Worn once by like a construction worker. <laughs> that natural tie-dye? Yeah. Sodium infusion? Yeah, so I'm about to buy some more tees. I still need to fill up the car. I think the van is probably like at 30, the third full, 30%, 33%. I gotta buy all this stuff before the people can come over here and actually buy it. See, look guys, I, I'm on a mission to fill up the vehicle. We got like 150 pounds earlier. That's crazy. This man is just bringing out clothes by the boatload. This shit is hard as hell. A little all over print. Titty T. Oh, 100, 100 yeah. <laughs> uh, That one was probably like 30. This one like 60 and this one like 10. Bro, come on, man. Just make it happen. And there's the death pile. How much for all that, including the hangers, the basketball, the sound system? <laughs> you 1.2 so i'm not even gonna lie to you guys man me and mike have been chopping it up for a long ass time up in here but like i just want to tell you bro like you're an inspiration honestly and it's just not like like gassing you or whatever it's like it's the truth bro like like we're i'm 28 i've been watching you since fucking like since i was like in high school too and uh we just cracked open some more clothes had some heartfelt moments that needed to be off camera but bro, chill since 1993, the year of my birth. You got like Bowser fucking snowboarding or something. This shirt goes very hard. But yeah, man, you guys definitely got to pull up when this store opens if you're in the RGV. So we got the piles all separated. Mike is calculating. And man, I can only imagine what this spot is going to look like once it's fully decorated. Because uh, this is a blank canvas for this man to work some magic on. Not the Soviet ruler, man. <laughs> Hey guys, we're back at the Cuzzo's house and uh, I gotta buy his whole inventory right now, man. Before before the next day starts and we hit the flea market, man, I gotta shop with the family one time. Y'all want me to grab the Madonna tees? Wow. Ooh, y'all can't really leave y'all's input because this is not a live video. Trippy. But I might have to get a few of these things. And one thing I'm definitely looking at is the liquid blue Ooh. alligator with the snapper. Ah! 
Yeah, I might have to wear this gardening. I just don't want to get any crazy soil on it. This guy definitely looks like he's getting his rocks off in the aquatic environment. Oh my god, oh my god. So I gotta grab this. What? I gotta see what else, man. We have to fill up the van. That's the mission. But I gotta leave some room for plants too. I got to. I got to. We have amazing plants here, bro. You have to take some of them. Yeah, sativa indica. Let me dig in the bag of the I definitely gotta grab a hiney from my cousin. Wait, hold on. Bro, what are you talking about? <laughs> hold on. What? what? All right, we feeling the puffer season. God, the puffers are crazy. That's crazy. I'm probably gonna have to grab this one. And the Packers is stupid. stupid. Clean. That's sick. Jerry Jasper is the artist. He's a Grateful Dead artist, but he's very known for his interesting as an artist. That yeah, shit is hard. Free, free on the dogs. Yeah. Yeah. Hard to do. Thank you, Kozo. A fat pile. Yeah, that one is definitely a Grelio. Yes, sir. My God. Hey, I keep the bread with the family. On everything. Appreciate you, bro. Let me see if there's something else I want to grab. Guys, I'm grabbing so much stuff. It is like hard for me to capture everything. I definitely need this. There's some crazy teas that I should have scooped earlier that already have sold within the day. I just been moving, grooving, shucking, jiving, trying to trying to get content, go to different places. Man, hold up. I definitely have to secure this one though, man. You guys know. We them boys. All right, guys, good morning to y'all. I just woke up, man. I got a good six hours of sleep. It is time to suck today's dick, if you will. What? And today we're going to La Pulga. We're going to the flea market, and I'm going to try and find some good stuff to continue to fill up the car with. I definitely want to grab some plants for my gardening channel, Paul Plant Hill. And then also I want to grab more clothes. By the way, everything that I'm grabbing is either going to be for sale on my whatnot. My username is Thrift God. If you guys want to create an account and you use the link in my video description, you get $15 off your first purchase. And then of course, I sell a ton of gear on my website, which is thriftheavenvintage.com. We are working on revamping it, but you guys definitely be sure to go click that link down below because we always have a ton of stuff in stock on the website. If you guys wanna watch the live streams, definitely be sure to tune in every Tuesday at seven. And I live auction all the items starting at a dollar. So essentially it's a live stream where I chop it up with you guys. I sell gear, I take requests, and I flip as much stuff to y'all as possible. And you guys literally determine the prices. Sometimes I get low balled. Sometimes you guys ball out. Either way, man, I'm just here to slang these clothes, to deal these deals, and it's time to find some steals at the flea market. So let's get it. Hey, don't be gang banging, bro. Don't be banging on me like that, bro. Damn, it's too early for all that orange flagging, bro. <laughs> How sexy do I look? Uh, 11.2. On a what scale? Three, three, three. What you just said is one of the most insanely idiotic things I have ever heard. We have arrived. It's time. Let's get ready to rumble. Tommy for your money. They really got my man out here on this. Bro. This one is clean too, little Dartmouth. College, bro. College. Oh, the Dr. Pepper. Oh, it's actually hard. I like the color. Cash out the first spot. All this. 10 bucks. Wow. 
Stelio. So my cousin and Justin are back on the scene. Pulled that bum equipment, vintage denim. I might have to add this to the stack. Dude, we're not hood rich. We're wool rich. What you mean? It's wool rich, bitch. <laughs> Bro, bird gang. Dude, this is us. A friend loveth at all times. They're sucking like nobody's business. What? Am I wrong? Did I say something wrong? What happened? Bro, this is tough. Bro. It's kind of tough. Yeah, this is stiffy. Hey, this is all me right here. That's all me. It's all Brady. Bro, the towel. Them white used cars. This was cool too. <laughs> this is hard though. <laughs> the OCC? <laughs> Bro, this could be us. <laughs> nah, this is me for real. That dick's auto. What? So there's two little hats I just picked as well. Iowa Hawkeyes pinstripe this hard. You got the Hall, North Carolina. I gotta get this too. I'm gonna turn your car into a low rider, bro. Facts. Let's go. Let's get some more. All right, y'all, we're up out of the flea. Got hella stuff, sweating my bowels off. And then now, where are we going next? I'm gonna, I'm gonna take you to a warehouse. I'm gonna take you to a I think the van is starting to get filled, man. It's starting to get filled. So we're almost to mission complete. Good lord. We gotta build a skate park up in here. Stones T, 0506, like Mickey. Born to be bad. Senior, baby. That's hard. The new racing gear, pick that up too. Grandma sweater section. Bro, the extinct species? The Tasmanian tiger? That Hilton head? Bro. Hey, Mike gives me that Hilton head. Get, getting, I was getting some head. Hard. The wrap around could last a lifetime. This whole asymmetrical, bro. It's like LL Cool J of crew nets. You got one sleeve cut. The other I didn't even cold. notice, bro. <laughs> like when you're hot and cold. Yeah, hell yeah. Another one for the kids? So Marcelo's counting me out. We're gonna see what the total damage is. Making piles, stacking these things. I grabbed a ton of granny sweaters. Just a ton of different pieces, man. Variety of styles, sizes, all of that. Good Lord. So there's one and there's a second pile to add to the stack in the car. Dude, this is like the perfect skatable area up here too. It's nuts, man. We really have been cashing out the entire weekend I've been out here. Dude, my man is working for me right now for no reason. I gotta get you lunch or something, bro. Appreciate yeah, you, my guy. Thanks. Yes, sir. I told y'all, we're filling up the van. We got to. Mission complete. All right, y'all, so the mission is accomplished. The back of the van is filled up. It's been a crazy ass couple of days out here. Now I gotta drive five and a half hours back. Shout out to homie Mike. Y'all go check out trophies coming soon. 
my boy Marcus as well, showing me around town, oh, treating me like a beautiful first date. I really appreciate that. And uh, yeah, it's been fun while I've been out here, man. I'll see y'all next time. And all right, my brethren, we are officially back from my trip to the valley. It went crazy. As y'all can see, I am literally surrounded by clothes and I haven't even broken down this huge pile of stuff that I did get out there. So again, I just wanna thank my boy Marcus, my boy Mike, Andres, my cousin Preston, Marcelo, everybody out there. I know I'm leaving out some people. Justin, all the people that show me love, thank y'all so very much. I do appreciate the support. And for all you guys who watch this video, I appreciate the support as well. That was a mission of a drive with my van overheating. It has since and henceforth been repaired. But you guys just keep it locked on my website, which is thriftheavenvintage.com for all of these items that will be dropped. I have to wash all those clothes because they were raw. So they definitely need to be cleaned. And of course, follow me on whatnot. Again, my username is Thrift God. I'm gonna have a salt and pepper live this Tuesday at 7 p.m. Central Standard Time. That is when I do lives. And I do lives randomly throughout the week. I actually am doing one the day after this video drops, which will be like a Friday of this week. So yeah, just follow me on there. Again, my username is Thrift God. And if y'all use that link in the video description, you'll save $15 off your first purchase if you create an account using that link. So help yourself to some deals, to some steals. And thank y'all overall just for the support. If you just smash the like button on the way out, it definitely does help me. I've been on vacation like two weeks in a row, so I am sorry for the lag, but I'm glad this video is out and now you guys can enjoy it and stay tuned because I have multiple trips to the thrifts that I need to edit and that I will be dropping soon. Until next time, live the dream, eat that ice cream. I'm locked, I'm loaded, and I'm out. Peace! Killing these songs, leaving a bloody life by Rooster. And I'm in it to win it, so I'm somebody that you should get used to.